New at six, it's a major milestone for the Port of Virginia. That's right. Our main port in Norfolk is going to be announcing it's the first major East Coast port to be powered by 100% clean energy. Phil Townsend shows us what it takes and what the future plans at the port will be. When it comes to power consumption, few, if any, industries in Hampton Roads compete with the port. For decades, moving tons and tons of cargo has taken a lot of heavy machinery and even more fossil fuel. It's why the Port of Virginia pledged to make major changes, setting itself on a new path toward clean energy. This month, a major milestone in that mission. According to port leaders, the Port of Virginia is now the first major East Coast port to fully run on clean energy, whether it's solar, wind, hydropower, or nuclear. The state is under contract with Dominion to use solar farms to help power facilities. The port is even asking for a bigger share of it. They also now have 100 hybrid shuttle carriers, which cuts the diesel consumption in half. And they've invested in an electric-powered crane system that moves boxes as part of a bigger, automated, more efficient cargo system. All of it leading to a significant drop in carbon emissions. According to figures from the Port of Virginia, carbon emissions have been cut by 66% since 2017. And the port has made a commitment to net zero carbon emissions by 2040. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The recent announcement on clean energy use puts the port eight years ahead of its original 2032 goal.